OK, in this video, we'll talk you through how to approach Edexcel English Language, Paper 1, Questions 1 and 2. To do that, we'll look at a couple of student responses to two set questions. So remember, you can pause the video at any point if you need time to read through what's on screen. Let's get started. Before you begin to answer the question, the best thing to do is reread or skim through the part of the text you're asked to focus on. A good thing to remember here is that on paper one, questions one and two, they both examine assessment objective one. That's your ability to identify and interpret explicit and implicit information and ideas. So pulling out the facts that are clearly stated and the ones that are just implied. Now let's move on to look at the questions. We'll start with question one. In this case, it's from lines nine to 10, identify a phrase which shows how valuable Dantes believes the treasure will be. Remember, question one is only worth one mark, so you only need one quotation or phrase. Let's take a look at student A's response to this question. This student hasn't managed to achieve the mark because they focused more on Dante's feelings with their response of wildest dreams haunted his brain. They haven't chosen a quotation that links to the question, which is asking what Dante's believes about the treasure. Remember, when you're selecting a quotation to use, it's really important that it fully answers the question. Now let's look at student B's response and see how it differs. In this case, the student has selected the phrase paved with emeralds. They've clearly chosen a phrase that links to the question, so they've earned the mark. Emeralds are expensive, and this shows Dantes believes that the treasure will be valuable. In the text, there are a few phrases like this that the student could have chosen, but you only need to write one valid answer to get the mark. Now let's move on to question two. This question examines the exact same skill, only this time you need to give two answers because it's worth two marks. In your answer, you can either quote directly from the text or paraphrase it, meaning use your own words. In this case, the question is asking, from lines 27 to 30, Identify two ways that the writer shows the patron likes Dantes. Let's look at student A's response first. For this response, only one of the two possible marks could be awarded. In the first part of the response, the student states that he thinks of Dantes as a son. This is an assumption that's been made. It's not actually supported by the text, so it wouldn't get a mark. On the other hand, the paraphrased line he wants Dantes to take over the ship after him, does get a mark. This is because it's a correct interpretation of the quotation from the text. He saw in the young man his natural successor. Let's look at student B's response now. Pause the pod for a moment if you need some time to read through. This answer earns both marks. First, the use of the direct quotation, the old patron did not interfere, has accurately interpreted these lines as a sign of the trust the patron has for Dantes. So this earns one mark. The paraphrased answer, if the patron had a daughter, he would let Dantes marry her to create a more secure alliance between them, also accurately answers the question. So it earns another mark. Let's leave it there. Our top tips for questions one and two are, you can quote directly from the text or paraphrase. Your response needs to relate to the focus of the question, and it has to be accurate and supported by the text. Don't assume. It's always a great idea to get some practice in before the exam, so why not try some past papers and see how you do with AO1? You could take a look over the text and questions in our example paper linked to this pod and have a go at answering yourself. Good luck.